So you finally got that suit. Looks fly. You find a nice pair of shoes to go with it. Some Oxfords, some monk straps. Dope. And you realize, you know what? I gotta match my belt with my shoes. So you go in your closet and there's nothing in there but one of these. Fellas, I've come across a solution to this problem. And that solution is called the Anson Belt. In this video, I'm gonna review the Anson Belt and how you as the athletic man can incorporate it into your wardrobe and how it's beneficial to you. So what is the Anson Belt? Well, it is a holeless belt with a micro adjustable technology and interchangeable buckle. Yeah, first time I heard that, I was like, what? <laughs> so let's get into the three components that make up the Anson Belt. The first and the most obvious is it has no holes. Okay, cool, no holes, interesting. But how do you hook it? On the other side of that are, is the micro adjustable technology. These are ridges that are a quarter inch spaced apart. And these ridges in turn do away with the holes. All right, cool, no holes, got ridges, whatever that is. But how do you hook it? Well, in the buckle, there's a hook that attaches to a ridge that matches your exact waist, waist size and holds it in place, like so. And if you want to release it, there's a little lever right here. Just push it back, and it comes off. So with that, I was like, okay, this could be a game changer because with the old belts, I had two problems. One, the fact that they crease. With the Anson belt, you get no crease. It just smoothly goes in the buckle and you don't have to yank it back, which is what causes the, the creases on the other belts. And the second problem that it solves is as your waist size flux fluctuates, if you were like me, you tend to punch holes in your belt. I measured the length between the holes here, and they are about an inch apart, which is standard for every other belt. With the micro adjustable um, t -t technology, like I said, it's a quarter inch spaced apart. So who's to say that my exact waist size is in between this hole and this hole right here? It's somewhere in the middle. I'm gonna have to take a knife and punch a hole in there and it's just not gonna look even, it's, it's just not gonna look good. But with this Anson belt, I can get the exact waist, the exact ridge to fit my waist. So I was like, okay, this could be, this is what I need. And I've seen a lot of bloggers talk about this. It's the reason why I, I got it. I had to, to get it for my, myself and, and see what all the hype was about, and trust me, it lives up to the hype. So I, I spoke about the, the two first two components, the holeless and the micro adjustable. Now the interchangeable buckle is what really blew my mind. So take this belt. It's a black dress belt, really nice. But let's say, you know, I have a black watch with a gold face, and I want a black belt with a gold buckle. Do I go out and buy another gold, a black belt with a gold buckle? No. All I do is simply detach this buckle from the belt and I find a gold buckle and attach it. Here you go. And it stays in place and I pretty much have a brand new belt. And it does the same thing. That, I was like, okay, this falls in line with an interchangeable wardrobe, which is what I've, I've, I've preached about in my past videos, a versatile wardrobe. You don't have to buy a whole bunch of clothes to look good. You, you can buy just a few clothes that can be interchangeable and that can last you a year or even two years plus. And this falls in line with it. So I personally have three of these belts and two of these buckles. So 
with that, I have six variations of, of belts to, to, to choose from. So let's say I like this buckle, but I have a brown watch with a gold face. And I'm just using that as, as an example. You don't really have to match your jewelry. I tend to match my jewelry. So I just take a brown belt with that gold buckle. And attach it to it. And I have a whole new belt. So, so let's say you don't want to be all dressy because the, the black belt and the brown belt are kind of dressy. You want to be more casual. All right, cool. Take my first buckle and a canvas belt. Now, I didn't know there was any such thing as a casual belt. I thought all belts were dressy. I was wearing my dress belts with my jeans and my chinos. Now I have a reason to wear a casual belt with my jeans and my chinos. Over at the Anson Belt website, they have different um, colors and different styles of casual belts and dress belts as well. So let's say I wanna wear this belt with a pair of chinos with this buckle. I just attach it in there. And it has the same effect. I mean, listen, I believe that every athletic man should have this simply because I remember when I started out, you know, when not started out, when I got serious about my fitness, I was a 38 waist. Now I am a 34 waist. Like I said before, I was punching holes in these old belts. Where is it? In these old belts. And it just was unsightly. And I just didn't like the... the creases in it so I wish I'd had this belt a few years back that measures my waist exactly how it is as it is by what a tape measure tells me I'm a 34 waist this gets it exactly to a 34 waist with these other belts they don't get exactly to what your waist size is so that's one reason why I feel like Every guy who's into fitness should inc should invest in an ant an Anson belt like this, because depending on your fitness re regimen, your waist size may fluctuate. So you don't have to be punching holes in, in in your belt. You can get this belt that has the micro adjustable technology to fit any waist size that you may be today, tomorrow, next month, next year, wherever, and it's gonna last you a very long time. So that's my review of the Anson belt and buckle. Um, I love this, I, I love it. Um, I've, like I said, I got three belts and two buckles, so that's six belts alone. And I can I can just incorporate that into my, my wardrobe, whether I wanna go really formal or really casual. All right, so that's it guys. And as always, I've attached a support article to go with this video that goes into more depth about this Anson belt and very important, how to cut and measure it, because that can be tricky. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone that you feel may benefit this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.